Praise the Lord. I am on my covenant highway of life. You are glad to be in God's presence tonight. Why not jump on your feet? Give quality thanks to our Father in heaven. He is worthy. There is none like him. Thanking him from the bottom of your heart. There is none like him. He has done awesomely well in your life. He brought you out this morning and here you are in his presence. You are in the sanctuary, not in the mortuary. Give him that quality thanks he desires from you. He is worthy. You cannot share his glory with any other man. There is no like him. Thank him from the bottom of your heart. Thank him for his provision. Thank him for his protection. All through the day he was at work in your favor. He never sleep nor slumber. Thank him for the mercy he has upon you. By bringing you out and bringing you in again. There was no evil news. The enemies could not perform their enterprise upon your life. Thank him for he made a way when the enemy said there shall be no way. Thank him from the bottom of your heart tonight. He is worthy. Thank him for the word that is coming tonight. A word that will make you a different. A word that will elevate you from where you are to where you ought to be. Thank him for that said word. And as you are set to feel at this table tonight, give him quality thanks. For the communion to renew your strength in this 21 days prayer and fasting, give him thanks. He can do it alone. There is no any asset at dua. Give him quality thanks. He is worthy. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. You are wonderful. We cannot share your glory with any other man. We have gathered again in your presence to give you all the thanks you desire from us. You are worthy. We thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, you have a testimony to share. Walk to the honor entrance. Document that testimony during the course of the service. Opportunity shall be given to you to share that testimony with the Let's jam our hands together for Jesus as we welcome the priest. <laughs> Ejoba Oluwa Ejoba Ejoba Oluwa Ejoba Ejoba Oluwa Laye Laye Ati Loru Ejoba
presence in this day night 
jam those wonderful hands together for the Lord. He is worthy. Give him praise this evening. Give him thanks for the strength for the deny. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for answer prayer. To you alone be all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have given praise. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. Congratulations and be seated in his presence. Our God is forever faithful. Surely we are going to rise in, be rising up to start our intercession for this evening. Saying, Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church so they can be established in faith and this church for life. Our anchor scripture is, is from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25 to 26. It reads, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I send among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Can I hear you say amen? And praise the name of the Lord your God that death wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. So you are rising up, lifting your voice to heaven, saying, Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church so they can be established in the faith and this church for life. Lift your voice to heaven, begin to decree supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration for all our new converts. Supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church. Father, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree supernatural restoration. We decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church so they can be established in the faith and this church for life. Father, heavenly King of glory, we call upon you this morning. We say we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. We decree supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church. That they may be established in this church and in faith for life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, King of glory, Lord, we decree supernatural restoration. You promise to restore all the years that might have been lost. Lord, we decree supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church. Father, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree supernatural restoration. We decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church. King of glory, heavenly Father, you promise to restore to us all the years that the locust has eaten. Lord, we decree supernatural restoration. We decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church. In the mighty name of Jesus, so they can be established in faith and this church for life. Father, King of glory, we call upon you this evening, O Lord. We decree supernatural restoration. We decree, O Lord, supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church. Lord, we decree, O Lord, restore to them of all the years they have lost. Restore to them all the enemy have deprived them of. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, King of glory, Lord, we decree, O Lord, supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration for all our new converts. Let everyone hear your voice this evening. Pray, 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 pray. Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost, that they may be established in faith and in this church for life. Let's begin to give him thanks. Thank him because he has held and answered us. Father, we give you praise. To you alone be all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's jam our hands together as we take our seat. 
Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. Congratulations. Shortly, we are rising up to pray. When we rise up, say, Father, continue to send your word with power in all our services this year, making this church a green pastor where the sheep will be well nourished and established. Acts 6 7. And the word of the Lord increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Why not rise on your feet and begin to pray? Say, Father, continue to send your word with power in all our services this year, making this church a green pasture where the sheep will be well nourished and established. Father, continue to send your word with power in all our services this year, making this church a green pasture where the sheep will be well nourished and established. Father, continue to send your word with power in all our services this year, making this church a green pasture where the sheep will be well nourished and established. In the name of Jesus, send your word afresh unto us. Put the right word in the mouth of your servant over this assembly. In the name of Jesus, send your word like never before, Lord. The word that will terminate shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus, the word that will break yokes. In the name of Jesus, the word of restoration. Word of healings, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you continue to send your word with power in all our services this year, making this church a green pasture where the sheep will be well nourished and established. In the name of Jesus, send your word unto us like never before. Let thy word come with power in the name of Jesus. Breaking yokes in the name of Jesus. Delivering your people in the name of Jesus. Lord, send thy word unto us in this assembly in the name of Jesus. The Bible says how possible are the right word. Send the right word unto us in this assembly via the mouth of your servant. In the name of Jesus, Lord, send thy word with power. Lord, continue to send your word with power in all our services this year, making this church a green pasture where the sheep will well nourish and establish. In the name of Jesus, no one, no man, no woman will come into this church and return the same in the name of Jesus as they come, cause them to be well nourished and be established. No one shall wander away from this church in the name of Jesus. We ask you continue to send your word with power in all our services this year, making this church a green pasture where the sheep will be well nourished and establish. Saints of God, are we engaging at all? Let God hear your voice of prayer. Pray in the name of Jesus. Continue to send your word with power in all our services this year. Send a word in our midweek services. Send your word afresh in our Sunday services in the name of Jesus. Even at our cell centers, Send a word with power in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your word nourish your people and establish them upon this mountain. Begin to pray to God. Pray to God in the Holy Ghost. Pray to him on the dancing. Father, we give you glory. Lift your hands and appreciate God. It is done. Father, we honor your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put those hands together for Jesus and take your seat.
Praise the Lord. Finally, I'm on the Covenant Highway of Life. Congratulations. Shortly, we shall be rising up to pray, and when we rise up, we shall be saying, Father, increase every winner for steadfastness and stewardship all through the year 2023, resulting in our supernatural change of levels. If you are changing levels, say amen. amen. Luke 19, verse 17 through 19, and he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. That shall be your testimony. Rise up on your feet, therefore, lift up your voice to heaven. Father, and grace every winner for steadfastness and stewardship all through the year 2023, resulting in our supernatural change of levels. Cry to God this moment if you are tired of where you are, ensure that you are praying. If you are tired of the mockery of man, pray to God this moment. Father, and grace every winner, beginning with me, for steadfastness and stewardship all through the year 2023, resulting in our supernatural change of levels. Change our levels day by day. Change our levels weeks by weeks. Change our levels month by month. Ensure that you are praying this prayer like everything about you depends on it. Of course it does. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and grace every winner, beginning with me for for steadfastness and still worship all through the year 2023, resulting in our supernatural change of levels. Like Joseph slept in the prison, woke up at the palace, supernatural, cried to God, picture the kind of supernatural change of levels that you desire. Not one, not two, but many. Change of levels. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask for your grace upon me and upon every winner for steadfastness and stewardship all through the year 2023, resulting in our supernatural change of levels. We will not remain where 2023 met us, February will not meet us where, 2020, where January left us. Every month shall be an improvement of the other. Every week shall be an improvement of the other. If that is your desire, cry to God. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you are asking right now, above all you can imagine through his grace that is at work in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and grace every winner, beginning with me for steadfastness and still worship all through the year 2023, resulting in our supernatural change of levels. Take us from the mockery of men, O oh Lord. Make us your glory, a display of your glory upon the earth. Lift up your voice, ensure that you are still speaking to God this moment. Lift up your hands if you can. Begin to thank Him by faith, believing that beyond what you have asked this moment, God has granted unto you. Change of levels, day by day, week by week, month by month, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' most precious name, we pray. If you believe God, say amen. amen. Put those hands together for Jesus as we welcome the praise team. You are worthy, worthy of our praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are worthy, you are worthy. worthy of our praise. You are the most high. Of our praise, you are worthy, worthy of our 
give a praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. worthy of our praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. Jesus, you are worthy. Worthy of our praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Worthy of our praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. From everlasting to everlasting, Lord, we give you praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Worthy of our praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. 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 Somebody lift up your hands and give God thanks this evening once again. Wave those hands to him and give him the glory to his name. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name forevermore. 
For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Celebrate Jesus with a clap of him, and let's take a seat for a while. Even as we continue with our intercession, in this segment, we'll be rising up shortly to take up this prayer point. Father, spark off a wide fire spiritual awakening in all our churches worldwide this year, thereby causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. Can I hear someone say amen to that? Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verse 31 says, Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria, and were edified, and walking in the fear of the Lord, and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost. And finally, they were multiplied. Shall we rise up on our feet? As we take up this prayer point tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, pack off a wide fire spiritual awakening in all our churches worldwide this year, thereby causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh Lord, that you spark off a wide fire spiritual awakening in all our churches worldwide this year. A spiritual revolution, O oh God. Spiritual awakening, O oh God, in all our churches worldwide this year. Thereby causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. Lord, we ask tonight that by your spirit, spark off a wide fire spiritual awakening, a revival, Lord, that we affect the whole world in all our churches worldwide this year, thereby causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. We ask, O oh Lord, tonight, that by your spirit, the outpouring of your spirit, O oh God, for you to spark off a wide fire spiritual awakening in all of our churches worldwide this year, thereby causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. Lord, by your spirit, O oh God, by the outpouring of your spirit and the release of your word, spark off a wide fire spiritual awakening in all our churches worldwide this year. Let there be no room for lukewarmness. Let there be no room, O oh God, for any form of setback. White fire spiritual awakening. Let it spark off, O oh God, in all our churches this year, worldwide, thereby causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. The fear of the Lord becomes the order of the day in all of our endeavors, in all of our doing, as a result of God, of the release of a wide fire spiritual awakening in all our churches worldwide this year. We ask, O oh Lord, that by your spirit, spark off a wide fire spiritual awakening in our churches worldwide this year, thereby causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. He said, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. Lord, breathe on your church. Release your grace. The Holy Ghost fire, as it came upon the apostles on the day of Pentecost, let it spark off a white fire, spiritual awakening in all our churches worldwide this year. And let it result, O oh God, in every winner walking in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, by your zeal, let this be accomplished. By the outpouring of your spirit, let this come to pass. That Lord, you spark off a white fire, spiritual awakening in all our churches worldwide this year. Thereby, causing every winner to walk in the fear of the Lord as a lifestyle. Lift up your hands. If you know it's happening already, lift up your hands and give him glory. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Thank you, Lord, for the outpouring of your spirit. Lord, for the fire of the Holy Ghost that is released afresh upon all our churches worldwide. Resulting, O oh God, in walking in your fear as a lifestyle. So you be the glory and honor. For in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Let's celebrate Jesus with a clap offering as we take our seat.
Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the Covenant Highway of Life. It is announcement time. Let's listen to the following announcement. Prophetic focus for the month of January 2023 is prayer and fasting empowers for dominion. Shall we echo it together? Number one, praise the Lord. Our annual 21 days of prayer and fasting for the year 2023 continues tomorrow, being Wednesday, the 18th of January to Sunday, 29th of January, 2023. Number two, youth in the house, shout hallelujah. All youth are invited to the second edition of our special Youth of Flame session. The date is Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023. The time is immediately after the second service, and the venue is the church auditorium. It promises to be reviving, impactful, and life-transforming session. Number three, praise the Lord. Please send in testimonies of your personal encounter with the awesome acts of God in the course of the ongoing 21 day of prayer and fasting to testimonies at lfcww.org or testimonies at davidoyudipo.com as well as info at lfcww.org. Number four, please be informed of the prophetic instruction from the Apostle Valley's Commission, Bishop David Oyudipo. Every winner is expected to take a shot of the oil every night and anoint themselves for perfection of health and also anoint our places of interest, that is our homes, offices and business places number five covenant our prayers continues this week from tomorrow wednesday to saturday in any of the centers close to you the main church soccer sector f and environmental satellite centers the time is 5 30 a.m each day while on saturday is by 6 a.m come and start your day with the lord Number six, our WSF meeting holds this coming Saturday, the 21st of January, 2023, at our various district converging points. Ensure you locate the venue of the fellowship and fellowship with the brethren. Please take note that the time is 5 p.m. and the breaking of our fast on Saturday will be coordinated at the WSF district levels. Number seven, marriage counseling committee announce, announcement. The church leadership will be meeting with all eligible singles who propose to get married in this year, 2023, whether in this church or outside the church, this coming Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023, immediately after the second service. Venue is the church auditorium. Attendance is very necessary whether your partner is available or not. Kindly note that early and good preparation always result in glorious manifestation. God bless you. Good news. Wolf be, wolf be, wolf be. The February edition of the Word of Faith Bible Institute Basic Certificate Course BCC starts from Monday the 6th of February to Friday the 18th of February 2023. The Bible school is designed for everyone who wishes to grow in the spirit and in their career. There shall be a scholarship for those that newly join us and those that wish to sponsor people should visit the church office to do so. Plan and prepare to attend. Number nine, tithes, teens, slash kingdom investments. Our tithes and offerings are covenant platform for continuous open heavens and show us of blessing. Ensure you pay your tithe timely and regularly to keep devourers away from your life. Number 10, online giving. You can pay your tithes slash offerings slash seal of sacrifice using the church account details as displayed on the screen. The account details displayed on the screen is for tithes and offerings. Number 11, pre-service prayer holds every Sunday for all church workers by 6.30 a.m. prompt. Number 12, praise the Lord. This coming Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023, shall be our prophetic release services. I thought you put your hands together for Jesus. The first service commences by 7 a.m. 
while 9 a.m. is the commencement time for the second service. Endeavor to come along with at least one person, your friends, colleagues, clients, neighbor, and family members for these services. Come prepared and come expectant. Recommended books authored by Bishop David O. Yeriko include Winning Prayer, Satan Get Lost, Born to Win, Anointing for Exploit, and the Release of Power. All these are available online at www.domionlinestores.org as well as our local bookshop. Jesus is Lord. It is testimony time, my breakthrough time. As we listen to this documented testimony, yours shall be the next in Jesus' name. This is titled Miracle Job via 21 Day Prayer and Fasting. I am a graduate. And for 10 years, I trusted God for a miracle job. However, on the first day of the 21-day prayer and fasting of 2021, while I was busy engaging in kingdom advancement prayers, I got a call from Abuja. I was told to come pick up my appointment letter with a federal government institution, and I did. Today, I am gainfully employed. I return all the glory to the God of this commission. The testifier is Emmanuel. Oh, if you are certain yours will be the next, lift up your hands in your seated position and appreciate this wonderful God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. Congratulations. In a short while, we will be taking any position that is most convenient for us as we pray in our personal supplication. I would like to read to us from the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 11. A word of assurance for us there. He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you say thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. It goes on for the, in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 24. It says, the Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Whatsoever that the word of God has revealed to us. God is committed to bring it to pass. Please, let's take any position that's most confident for us now as we begin to pray. My thoughts concerning you is for you to be in your heads. It's for you to love me. Ask for that grace to please him. 
fresh fire upon your soul. Say, for the Lord of hosts has purposed, and who shall disannul it? His hand is stretched out. Who shall turn it back concerning that your desire? He has purposed to give it to us. Ask in faith. Shall we begin to give God thanks? Let's be upstanding as we give him quality thanks. He doesn't stop prayers, but he answers whenever we pray according to his will. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. I can hear your amen. No doubt, I see you returning with those testimonies. In Jesus' precious name. Give Jesus a big clap of praise and please be seated. Praise the Lord. In this service tonight, it is offering time. It is offering time. Package your offerings, your tithe, and all that you have come to honor God with. If you are writing, check. Ensure you address it to Living Faith Church, FHA Lube, and write your telephone number at the back and the purpose of giving. Praise the Lord. Why do that? The book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 38, says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. If you have packaged your offering, let's rise up on our feet as we obey, obey the scripture by giving tonight. Leave that offering to God. Appreciate him for the opportunity to appear before him not empty. Father, we thank you, Lord, for causing us to appear before you not empty. Father, thank you for your provisions. Lord, accept us and our offering tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. By this suffering, I see you ascending your highway of finances. In the name of Jesus, whatever you can offer, you are not permitted to suffer. You won't suffer for money again. Somebody is here tonight. It's like you are giving the last money in your hand, like that widow. In 24 hours, there shall be financial rain for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please be seated. Cast your offering joyfully as the choir minister. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done in my life. It's so wonderful. See what the Lord has done in my life. It's so wonderful. Hey, see what the Lord has done in my life. It's so wonderful. I see what the Lord has done in my life.
be your Baba. Irani only shy, ya no. That's a rare. We praise you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. I be your Baba. Be your say, Baba. Irani only shay, ya no. That's a rare. We praise you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Can be your say, Irani, oh. Oba 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 titi aye Oba 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 titi aye Oba 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 titi oba 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 Congratulations. Lift up your hands to Jesus. Thank him for placing you on this covenant highway. On a highway where you will ever win and not lose. Highway of victory. Highway of blessing. Highway of breakthrough. Highway of sound mind. Sound health. Highway of victory. Highway of laughter. Give him thanks. Father, thank you. I exalt your holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' most precious name we are praying. And because you have thanked him for placing you on this covenant highway, you will permanently be there in Jesus' name. And anyone that wants to alter your path, God will alter their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, celebrate Jesus with a hand clap as you may have your seat in God's presence. Hallelujah. I count it a great privilege tonight to stand before you. The church of Christ, privilege given by God in heaven and his servant in the house, Pastor Dapolumu Iwa. Sir, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. And my prayer for you is that every day, God will give you new treasures of blessings and liftings in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Of course, you know that the prophetic focus for the month of January 2023 is prayer and fasting and powers for dominion. God intend for you and I to dominate. God intend for you and I to be on top and not under. You are to be the head and not the tail. And that is why the teaching outline for this week in these 21 days for prayer and fasting is engaging the wonders for specific demands on our prayer altar. Specific demand. God is interested in blessing us. Much more, he's also interested in us coming to him with specificity. You come to him being specific, telling him exactly what you want. Today is the ninth day of this waiting on the Lord. A very wonderful count in number. Yesterday we were told that it was a day of new beginning. And I want to tell you that that new beginning is that today you are going to deliver your blessing. Because nine signifies gestation period for delivery. You will deliver your blessings in Jesus' name. You will deliver your breakthrough in Jesus' name. 
I was in a place and they asked pregnant people to move to one side. And I had to ask them, which type of pregnancy are you talking about? Because I'm pregnant. Are you talking about someone who is pregnant with a child? Yes, classify it. Because you are pregnant with your blessings. You are pregnant with your breakthrough. As you are seeing me, I'm pregnant. I know you are pregnant for something. Something is inside you is about to come out. And God is saying today being the ninth day is the gestation period for delivery. You will deliver in Jesus' name. So when you are anywhere and they say pregnant people should move aside, please ask a question. Which type of pregnancy are you talking about? Because I am pregnant. Tell them, if you say pregnancy of pro someone who is pregnant of a child, yes, I'm not pregnant of a child, but I'm pregnant of blessings and breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. That shall be our portion in Jesus' name. Jesus intend for us to have our blessing, but he wants us to be specific. So he wants us to always ask what we want. In John chapter 16, verse number 26, he said, At that day ye shall ask in my name. And I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. Now, at this point, what he's saying is that you must ask what you want. In Matthew chapter number 7, verse 7, he said, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Look at verse number 8. For everyone that asketh receiveth. So if you ask not, you will receive. But the emphasis today is that when you are asking, be specific on what you want. If you want double portion of blessings, ask for it. If you want promotion, ask for it. If you want healing, ask for healing. There is a table here tonight, the communion table is here. You may place a demand, specific demand tonight as I'm praying God tonight, I won't go home with this challenge. You will be specific and God will give you your answer in Jesus' name. So he's interested in us being specific. Don't pray generalized prayer. Don't say, I, I want everything. What is everything? What is everything? Generalized prayer don't count much with God. His response will always be, what exactly are you asking for? If your child comes to you and say, mommy, 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 and he's crying, you will ask the child, what do you want? At that point, yes, are you hungry? Is that why you are calling mommy? Or you want something to go to school with? Or you want to be allowed to go and play with your friends. You must be specific. Even as children, the same way we go to God. And tell God, today I am tired of this situation. I'm tired of going about in a roundabout. If you go to a heavy city, you see people busy in a motor park. Going from gate to where the car is. No motion is always in place, but no work done. Because the emphasis or the result of their motion should be getting passengers to make the vehicle to move. You see them going about all the day, and from morning till afternoon, they've not loaded for Lagos. By 2 p.m., somebody is telling you, Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. He has been shouting since morning. Praise the Lord. So God wants you and I to be specific so that you can advance. Making a motion around the roundabout is not equal to making progress. So God wants you and I to be specific, like blind Bartimaeus. A very popular story that you know about. Yes, he may be hungry at the time. In Mark chapter number 10, 46 to 52, summarizing. Maybe blind Bartimaeus was hungry. He may be poor. He may not even have had a place to lay his head. But what was important for him at that specific point in time is that he might gain his sight. Praise the Lord. So the same thing, when scriptures are written, they are written for you and I so that we can practicalize them and get the same solution. They are work examples for us. The same way blind Bartimaeus did it. Go to God. What is that situation concerning your life? 
Is it that every time there's a proposal for your marriage, there's always a postponement? Tonight, be specific. Tell God to this year, this day, this month, I must be married. Be specific. And your testimony will not elude you in Jesus' name. Many of us equal God to ourselves because we pity him. We underestimate his capacity. God is the owner of everything. He has everything. He is going to give to you from those abundance of things he has tonight in Jesus' name. The Bible says you have not because you have asked nothing specific. In James chapter 4 verse number 2. James 4 2. Say ye lost and have not. Ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. So when you are asking, be specific. I want promotion in my place of work. What kind of promotion? You want to be moved from the level you are, where they've graded you, put you there for the past six, seven years. And then, if you know that the person that is sitting on your promotion is for that stubborn boss, to be transferred. You are not praying for him to die. Be specific tonight. Tell God, I have been held down in this place of war for too long. Tonight, as I take part in this communion, as I take this communion tonight and as I pray, even when God's servant come up, specific prayers, I want that my boss transferred. Transfer him to where he will not have influence on me anymore. And your amen and amen shall be loud in Jesus' name. Your amen is not loud enough. Let your amen be loud. God will transfer that your wicked boss in Jesus' name. He will transfer him to a very far place. He will only hear the good news of your lifting. Because that is a stumbling block. God must move him. So you must be specific. If you want God to promote you, say so. If you want God to give you a husband and wife, say so. Because I wonder why people say husband as cast and wife. Wives are everywhere. Even in this church, you have a brother who is not married, is there, he's just, you know, wearing, as God's servant would say, wearing jeans and ironing his cloth. And there are sisters here walking around freely. Are you afraid? Be specific tonight. Go to that sister, be bold enough and say, I want to marry you. If you reject you, you go to your house. Mocking no fine, mama like him. Praise the Lord. Don't be afraid. Confront every mountain. That mountain, God will level them before you tonight. Therefore, we must be very, very sure of what we want from God. Nehemiah itemized his request and got them. Nehemiah didn't miss his word. In Nehemiah chapter number 2, verse 1 to 8. And the Bible says in verse 1, And it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of Artaxerxes, the king, that wine was before him, and I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. He was a wine bearer. But something was bothering him. He saw that the walls of Jerusalem, all the walls were broken down. He had no peace. He wasn't happy. So this time around, he was specific. He had to go to the king. After fasting and praying, he said, I must tell the king. Say, God, grant me favor. So that when I go before the king, I will tell him my desire. And he will answer me. And when the king saw that he was not happy, he said, what is the problem with you? And he had to say, how can I be happy when the wall of my father's city is broken down? He was specific. And at that point, God granted him favor. And he got all the support. If you read from verse 1 to 8, you know the story and beyond that. God gave him support. And God gave him favor. And the king approved. And eventually, the wall of Jerusalem was built. Even when they were... Tobiah and Sambala, all people coming, they couldn't stand. God ensured that the city of Jerusalem was built. So must, you must be specific. Itemize what you want. Don't underestimate God's capacity. Don't pity him. He has everything for you and I. God does not need what he has provided for you and me. So what we need is take from that storehouse by your request. Praise the Lord. It's like when you have slices of bread upon your table and you are taking tea. And then you are looking, you want to be gentle. You want to look civilized. And you know you are hungry. After taking two slices, you still, you are licking your tongues. And you know you need more. If you need more, why not go for more? 
And you are saying, take money. I say, no problem, no problem. Meanwhile, you are hungry. Suffering and smiling. Don't do suffering and smiling with God. Praise the Lord. God has enough. So I temize, just like Nehemiah did. And your answer shall come speedily in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Secondly, Elisha demanded for double portion of the spirit of born Elijah and got it. Second King chapter number 2, verse 9 to 15, the story is recorded there. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. Praise God. And Elisha did not miss his words. He was able to identify, Oh, my master, all I need is a double portion of the anointing upon your life. A double portion. In our days, if it is in our days, people will be asking, Oh, let me get the BMW that you are leaving behind. Let me get the duplex that you are leaving behind. The man said, let me get double portion of your anointing. And exactly what he got when he saw his servant, God's servant taken up, that double portion dropped on him. To the extent that even when Elisha died, his bones, his bones were raising the dead. Praise the Lord. That is what Gehazi would have taken four times off. But Gehazi was interested in the material things. You won't be Gehazi in Jesus' name. You will be specific on double portion of the anointing upon this altar, upon God's servant, in the name of Jesus Christ. So covet every good gift, not the one that will make you to go perishing, in the name of Jesus. As I close, we must continue to engage our territory taking God towards the actualization of a four-level dimension of growth in our churches this year. God has given us the territory to take. He said, the whole earth belongs to God. The earth is the law and the fullness thereof. And you and I, we are God's children. So it's our own territory taking God. Every territory that you are, I say, wherever the sole of your feet shall tread upon, shall be given unto you. So as you are in Lube, we are taking over in Jesus' name. Time will come, it will be a shame for somebody not to say, I am a winner. People will say, even those that are unbelievers will not say, no, I want to be a winner. Today, I'm a winner. That shall be our portion in Jesus' name. Now, we are taking the territory so that we can have these four level dimension of church growth. God is a God of addition. God is a God of multiplication. Our God is a God of strange works. And he's a God of strange acts. So he wants us to grow at all levels. He wants you to multiply. He wants you to add. He wants you to do great things. He wants you to have overflow. Praise the Lord. It's step by step. You have addition. From addition to multiplication. For strange works, it means it's going to be overflow. After overflow, it's the running over. That is strange act. In the name of Jesus Christ. So God warned you and I that in our time, he wants us to connect with him like never before and connect with one another in fellowship. So that is what the four-level dimension means. That four-level dimension of growth means that we must connect with each other. We are growing with ourselves and growing with God. Praise the Lord. We grow in worship. Always worshiping God. Be happy in God. Also grow in number. Grow in size. Grow in dominion, signs and wonders. Grow in miracle. And also grow in service. In that unit where you are, you'll not just be collecting title. Looking for where they will make you the head. That is not what you are there for. What you are there for is to serve God. And when you serve him, he says, if you serve me, I will bless your bread and bless your water. And take away sickness from you. And nobody, none shall be barren among you. That means that you are going to live long. He said, I will take sickness away from you. And I will fulfill that day that I've assigned for you. Service is a level of growth. That you don't need somebody to beg you to come to church. You don't need somebody to encourage you to come to church. So it's also the attribute of addition, multiplication, strange works, and strange acts. That shall be our portion in this house in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 
15 to 16, he said, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things. God wants us to grow up in all things. So when we grow, when we grow in number, we grow spiritually too. It is not enough to grow in number. You must grow spiritually. And growing spiritually means that everyone become a bishop in his neighborhood. Everyone, everyone become a pastor in his neighborhood. Everyone become a reference for Christ in your neighborhood. People will not wait to see God's servant, the resident pastor, before they are prayed for. Nobody will be running from a house because there are cockroaches. Because you know you have dominion. Fasting and prayers empowers for dominion. You have dominion. You have dominion. Say, I have dominion. So I cannot be afraid of anything. He said, no one should trouble me for I bear the mark of Jesus on me. Anybody that trouble you, God will trouble them. You need to, if you go to nations where God troubled them, you know. There are people even in Nigeria that God is troubling them now. They are sitting on which here for years because they have troubled you. Some troubled us, troubled Nigeria, troubled Christianity today, they are in the grave. So anyone that troubles you, God will trouble them in Jesus' name. In Deuteronomy chapter number 2, as I round up, say, rise up, rise thee up, take your journey and pass over River Anon. Behold, I have given into thy hand Sihon, the Amorite, king of his born, and his land, begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. Is a, a, we, are, we are serving a territory taking God. God says everywhere here belongs to us. From here up till the end of Lube, across, Zone C, Oiria C, whatever is the name, everyone must come to winner by prayer and fasting. Even some, when you look at their face, you might be afraid of speaking to them. Because maybe they are your boss in the office, or they are your landlord, so that they will not increase your rent. But just pray about them. God, this is my landlord, must come to church. Then one day with a smile, you give him a flyer. And before you know it, he will come here. That shall be our portion in Jesus' name. Let's be on our feet and talk to God tonight. Say, God, I have come to you. I want to be part of this multiplication. I want to be part of this territory taking agenda in the name of Jesus. Lord, this four level dimension of growth, I must be part of it. I must participate. I must enjoy the inherent benefit in the name of ensure you are praying this prayer. Pray that prayer. Ensure you are praying in the name of Jesus. He said, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them. And they shall not be few. I will glorify them. And they shall not be small. Father, we shall not be small. Glorify us in this time. In the name of Jesus. Let the prophetic agenda for the year 2023 come to pass. Even in my eye, through me, I must be part of it. To the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' most precious name we are praying. And amen. All eyes closed, all heads back. If you are here, you are not born again. Fasting and prayer is hunger strike. So please make time with God tonight. Don't be ashamed. It might be the last opportunity you have to give your life to him. So repeat this prayer after me. Jesus, I confess that you are Lord. You are the Lord of the universe. And I also confess and acknowledge that I'm a sinner. Today, I forsake my sin. I will follow you all the days of my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that today you died for me, you resurrected for me, and you saved my soul. From today onward, I will follow you all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you pray that prayer, you are not born again. Please come to the altar so that God's servant will put a seal on you. Clap, church. Let's put our hands together. If you are there, please quickly run to the front and God's servant will place a seal upon you. We invite the choir. Bye. 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 Bye.
Hallelujah. We join our heart, putting our hands together. Let's welcome God's servant. Celebrate Jesus. forth our hands toward this precious child of God tonight. Lord, we ask tonight, say that honor you, you will honor. I declare you before men. Write his name in the book of life. Lord, we ask today, let the heaven come to his aid in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The grace to live for you, serve you all the days of his life, release upon him. Father, we ask tonight, Holy Spirit, take over his battle. In the name of Jesus, make this life this life enviable. In the name of Jesus Christ, that from tonight, on any matter, on any battle, Jesus cannot lose. You will no more be a loser. In the name of Jesus, whatever door will not be closed against Christ for good shall not be closed against you. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord shall be visible upon you. All eyes we see in Jesus Christ. On Philly, then we are praying. And let what God shout a ladder. Eh? So please, towards your left hand side. All right. Somebody shout hallelujah. On the mountain, in the valley. On the land and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land and in the sea. Oh, hallelujah, the Lord is my God. The Lord is good forevermore. Oh, the Lord is my portion. kingdom come in my life. Let thy kingdom come in my life tonight. Lord, let thy kingdom come in my life tonight. That whatever is no part of the beauty of your kingdom shall not leave this service with us. Somebody speaking to the Lord. Oh Lord, let thy kingdom come in our lives tonight. Let thy kingdom come in our lives tonight. In 
In Jesus Christ of holy name, we are praying. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you. God that cannot lie. In you, we move and live and have our behind. We call you the healer, I am that I am. Answer to us tonight as the captivity turner. Change our story yet again. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that to write the story of our lives for good. That will make our lives an attraction of multitude of men to your kingdom. That which people will see, knowing that we have been with you indeed, let it become reality of testimonies. In everyone that is part of this service, and as many as we are this same, join this same service or listen to it through the electronic medium. In the name of Jesus Christ. People will look at you tonight and see Christ on you. If you are that one, shall the only amen available? So please take your seats briefly. I will share a story with us. Then we'll be on our feet to pray. We'll take two prayer points tonight. I've shared this story on the Royal Hour program that I run on Monday. But I felt it'd be good for us. It was under the caption, Fight for the Change You Deserved. I read about a little bird that was hatched in a cage. He never knew there was anything more than a cage all its life. He was confined to the cage. But in the process of time, he discovered that wings were growing. But something in him now tell him that this wing growing was meant for flying and flapping. So he tried one day to fly. Every time it, it flew, it reached the cage and come back. So in the process of time, he stopped trying. But still had the name that it was meant to fly. So one day, for error of omission or commission, the cage was left open. Then he flew out through the window and he went set free as he was meant to fly. I could picture him rejoicing, say, This is it. This is what I was made to do. This is what I he flew away into liberty. There is somebody here tonight. Heaven we establish your liberty at last. I can't hear your believing name, man. There are some of us we have used to a type of life that we felt there can be something better. But it was just a confinement, a programming. But you know that you are packaged for something better. Dabes lived, I can't tell how many years, answering a name he was called, but one day, perhaps he read that he was born to live an honorable life. He didn't waste time. Tonight is your turn. Tonight is your turn. Be fruitful and multiply. Whatever your hand touches, God was says, God was says, it shall prosper. It shall prosper. Male and female created he them. Not male, male, not female, female. Life is not designed for stagnation. The four dimension church growth can be summarized as, as quality and quantity Christianity. Not just the quantity, but also in quality. Shout hallelujah. That whatever is the declaration of the month, you have evidence in your life as testimony. And that shall happen for us this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those who are waging direct and indirect, 
physical and spiritual war against you. Your media and our host, tonight, they shall help to destroy one another. One another. So, men and brethren, it is a war. It's a fight you must fight. I've said it before, here again. There cannot be advancement without friction. No easy way to freedom. Even if you have been careless before, now that you know your life's supposed to be better. To be in the camp of winning and be leading, leading and living a losing life should make you to be ashamed of yourself and be angry with yourself at the same time. But no, no, enough is enough. When we stand to pray, I pray that tonight somebody will pray enough is enough. My life must change. Lord, you must do something about my life. Even if nobody has shined where you come from, be the first. There's always first. Be the first that something good be pointed to. One of my sons in the Lord, uh, a full and guy, was sharing with me this afternoon, abandoned by family. Nobody, the parents didn't want to see him. They collected all the assets he had. But today, now, a cousin in the family just decided to say, look, for me, I must over. I want to be like that man. I mentioned, I want to be like him. And troubling everybody. I need this. And started searching for his number. Get his number, look like somebody winning a jackpot, or you have seen Jesus. So I want to be like you. I want to start going to church. I want to start going to church. There is somebody here today. Those who have condemned you, they will come to serve your God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When Bishop Bodepo's grandmother was still alive, every card that be a winner sticker belonged to, to her son. Shout hallelujah. That's my son's car. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Somebody got born, a guy was told, and uh, he was asked, Is he the type of bishop? That's your own born again. Is he the type of bishop? It is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. But you must be ready to give it a fight approach, a war approach. People get mad on the field at the leather. Animals came. That's what ball. Animals came. How much more? Be pray fundamental prayer tonight. As if tonight this fasting and prayer is ending. You pray to reach home, you pray it here, pray it aggressively. Shout hallelujah. How do we pray it? Number one, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Before restoration, there must be vengeance. There must be what? All they that devour thee shall be devoured. All your adversaries. In case you don't know, you don't understand what I'm saying. God says, all of them, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. They that spoil you shall be a spoil. All that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. And God signed it. Say, thereafter, I will restore health. You are facing challenge challenging your health. You have done all you could. Men that must go into captivity. There's a part that must go into oblivion. That must disappear. And tonight, they will disappear. They will disappear. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 2. Are you taking note? Isaiah chapter 61, and verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the law. The day of vengeance of our God. After vengeance, what next? Comfort. You want to live in comfort? You need to invoke vengeance. You need to invoke what? Vengeance. Vengeance. How do we pray the vengeance prayer? How do we pray the vengeance prayer? 
you must enter into it. You must not decide, you must not retire or resign as a junior staff. Say, you shall be the head. And this is my take. The head of an ant is better than the tail of an elephant. You got the joke? The head of an ant is better than the tail of an elephant. Don't look at the size. Head is head. Tail is tail. Shout hallelujah. What do you call that of elephant? Tail. And my Bible tells me you shall be the head and not the tail. Head is head. The Lord will make you the head. We make you the head. We make you the head. Judges, did I say Judges? Chapter 7, verse 22. Earlier on, under Gideon, they were afraid of the Midianites. Suddenly, there was a dream. The Lord said, I will conquer for you. And they blew the trumpets. Look at the second segment. And the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow. Throw the oaths. All the media and his hosts that are fighting you tonight. Tonight, they shall help to destroy one another. They shall help to destroy one another. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. Are you putting things together? God's word says, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Shout hallelujah. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. Every kingdom that has gang up against your life, against your destiny. Tonight, everyone will set them against one another. Either the kingdom of your profession, the kingdom of hell, or the kingdom of neighbor, the kingdom of generational captivity. Tonight, everyone will set them against one another. The kingdom of witches. The bigger witches begin to torment the smaller one. Say, leave I alone now. Leave I alone. Leave I alone. Everyone that goes to occultic meeting, even nocturnal meeting, because of you, when they go tonight, they will be flogged. They will be flogged. They will be flogged. Let's take one more testimony. Second Kings chapter 7 and verse 6. The man of God spoke. By this time tomorrow, there shall be more than enough. Somebody said, no way. But hear what God did. There was a siege against them. Siege against Samaria. Everybody was dying inside. Then the Lord decided to move. The Lord had made the host of Syria to hear a noise of chariots. Your prayer tonight is not just going to be prayer. It will turn to noise of fear. Intimidation, harassment, threats in the camp of every media night that gang up against you, including those who will gang up tomorrow. They will hear, Leave him alone. Leave him alone. They will see flash of your face. Then wicked angels begin to beat them. They begin to flog them. They begin to flog them. They begin to flog them. They hear the noise of chariots, noise of horses. As of great oaths. They say, hey, oh Syrians, you are dead. Allied forces have come. Run for your life. Run for your life. Just the feet of lepers. Or feet of lepers. But God changed it. Tonight, heaven will convert your voice to voice of threat. In the name of Jesus Christ. We were sent to a nation by this commission on the mission feed. And there are some people gathered together to pray against us. They were fasting and we were feasting. Shout hallelujah. We didn't know what they were doing. But 
after the seven days, they declare another seven days. When they were rounding up, the Lord said to the leader of the prayer, the prayer, the prayer group they set up, he said that go and join Winner's Chapel. That is where your destiny tied. Shout hallelujah. Your destiny is tied there, say go and join them. She came to confess herself. She was not an illiterate. She was a director of fiscal planning in the country. God said, now go and join them. What a humiliation. Tonight, it is time for everyone to humiliate your enemy. Yeah. To humiliate your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Men and brethren, be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Give him praise. Give him all the glory. Worship his majesty. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. You are going to be alone to pray this prayer. You are asked, God say, Oh Lord, arise. Everyone waging direct and indirect war against my destiny. Physical or spiritual war against my destiny. Set them against one another from tonight. Set them against one another. Let them begin to help to destroy one another. Set them. Set in the name of Jesus Christ. Take any position you like, but make sure you are praying. Oh Lord, arise! Everyone, arise against everyone waging direct and indirect war against my destiny, my ministry. Physical or spiritual war against our life, against our destiny. Search them against one another. Search them against one another. Let them have to destroy one another like the Midianites. You said the Egyptians, everyone will turn his sword against his brothers. Like the horse of Syria, let them hear terrifying noise. Speak to your father in heaven. I don't know the power behind this last minute disappointment. Enough. Enough. This consistent marital failure, I don't know what is behind it. This ex challenge, I don't know what's behind it. But tonight, oh Lord, arise and wage war against them. Everyone waging war against my health, my career, my profession, my children, and those will rise in the near future to wage war. Direct or indirect war, physical or spiritual, professional or family war. Oh Lord, set them against one another. Set them against one another. He said, we set Egyptians against Egyptians. <laughs> set them against one another. Let them help to destroy one another. Studio, leave the prayer point on the screen, please.
what will make somebody in the third year in university to say it's not going to it's not going to school again that is not normal whosoever you know where the war is coming from you know where the battle is raging oh lord because nothing is hid from you therefore tonight arise oh lord set them against one another That evil dream that we only come when something good is coming your way. That unnecessary anger that you regret thereafter to spoil things. No more. No more. The power that gets you weary in engaging things that will enhance your life. No more. He said, They that default, this shall be default. Oh Lord, arise to the begin to trouble my troublers. Every power, every altar troubling us, waging the right to spiritual way against us. Oh Lord, arise, trouble them, trouble them, trouble them. Let them help to destroy one another. Pray, pray with aggression, pray with aggression. That recurring negative experience must not go beyond this night. What others find easy with, why must you struggle with it? And anyone that will rise or gang up, Against my first friend in the near future, whosoever they be, they gather all or search them against one another. Let them help to destroy one another. Anyone waging war, direct or indirect war, against parents through their children, waging war against our children, in their health, in the academics, oh Lord, arise. Let them begin to help to destroy one another. Every power, steering men against the agenda of our lives. Against a desire project, oh Lord, arise tonight, a man of war. Set them against one another, confuse their tongues, confuse their tongues. Candle of Shinderia to Saba. Few more seconds, few more seconds. Don't spare. I don't know those who have fought against my promotion. Wherever they are here, wherever they are, whosoever they are, search them against one another. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your prayer. Cover your prayer and session with the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. 
the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Shall we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Give him praise. Give him the glory. Exalt his name. In Jesus Christ's unfailing name we are praying. When the root of a tree is destroyed, the tree will wither. Every creature that be consistent in your dream to the roots, vengeance of God will locate its roots. In the name of Jesus Christ. The elders in my place says that uh, Don't worry, as we say, just coming from Moshua, so he will come and interpret that one for us. That a young person is abusing you. You don't abuse him. You send him to the parent. <laughs> That's the root. Shout hallelujah. I'd like us to join our hands together. This life of struggle is over. Those who are smiling with you, but behind, they are the one staring men, tickling. They are commending you in your place of work, but behind the scene, behind the scene, they are the one they are recommending you. Tonight, they will see the vengeance of God. Don't worry. My interpreter will pass that one to me. So, when the men decided to build the tower that will reach heaven, God said, Well, there's only one thing we can do for them confuse their tongues. So, when one said, Okay, the leader said, let us go. Everybody is in fact. I said, go. So they started to move inside the way. That is a day, a day. A day, a day. <laughs> you will hear news. Remember, we are not here to try. We are here to triumph. We are not here to take side. We are here to take over. Touch us by hero. Die by correction. Heavenly Father, we thank you again tonight. You have assured us that when we agree together as touching anything, everything shall be done. It shall be done. When we bind it in our head, you say, everyone will sanction it. So on that agreement, we stand tonight, and I'm agreeing with my brothers and sisters, including those that join us online. Every media night. And their hosts, against anyone that the sound of my voice tonight, the hour has come. Turn our media nights against one another. Those who are fighting direct and indirect war against us, physical and spiritual wars, all the media nights against our destiny and their hosts, those who are fighting parents through their children, we open their black record tonight. Let them also open their black record. Let them begin to help to devour one another. In the name of Jesus Christ. That recurring sickness, that affliction, that illness, that, that defy medication tonight, wherever is the root, they represent adversaries. Wherever is the root, oh Lord, arise. Oh Lord, arise. Visit the roots, set them against one another. Let them drive from the roads. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever has heard anyone that the sound of my voice captive, whatever is the root of that power, whosoever they be, O oh Lord, tonight, hold them to captivity. O oh Lord, we ask tonight, begin to plunder them. Begin to plunder there. Begin to plunder there. Begin to plunder there. Every power, those who are praying on the skin, on the flesh of your sons and your daughters, will open their black record. We come to your courtroom today to appeal against them, to report them. Therefore, Lord, we ask according to your word, give them for a prayer on our behalf. Give them for a prayer on the behalf of our children. In the name of Jesus, let no single person among them escape. 
In the name of Jesus, let their sword, their weapon be turned against one another. Those who have vowed, they will smile with your son, with your daughter, vow they will not advance in their career and their profession. Every career gang up, every professional gang up, family gang up, wherever is the root. Oh Lord, tonight, turn them against one another. Turn them against one another. In the name of Jesus Christ. The seal of the Lord of hosts shall perform this. And those who will decide to gather in the near future, at any point in our life and that of our children, men gang up against us, against our interests. Let them become casualty of their gang up. Confuse their tongue. Confuse their tongue. Every witness that has been lined up against you over that issue, over that case, tonight, the witnesses' words will not agree. Their words will be countering one another. They begin to speak against one another. In the name of Jesus Christ, over that case, I stand on the priesthood authority conferred on me tonight by the mandate of heaven, and I decree every witness that have been lined up against you, their words, their words will not correlate. Their words, their witnesses will no more agree. They will not agree with one another. In the name of Jesus Christ, from tonight, their tongue will be scattered. And those who gather in the near future, their tongue will be scattered. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the seal of the Lord of hosts shall perform this. In Jesus Christ's unfailing name, we have prayed. And let me hear your loud amen. I can't hear him, man, like thunder. Is that the loudest you can shout? So shall it be. Lift up your hands and celebrate Jesus. Give him praise and glory. Blessed be thy name. In the name of Jesus Christ. The matter of that property is resolved tonight. All right, the second prayer point before we take communion. Any power that wants to attack me as a start of my prayer, I release the arrow of the blood of Jesus against them for their destruction. You know, we are told that you be specific. We release the arrow of the blood of Jesus, any power or person. Those who are angry when you are praying in your room, they are angry. Tonight, trouble. Trouble for them. Trouble for them. Any power that wants to attack me or attacking me as a result of my prayer, I release the harrow of the blood of Jesus against them for their destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release the arrow of the blood against them for their destruction. Anyone holding you responsible because of your prayers, we show the arrow of the blood of Jesus Christ against them and in their gathering for their destruction, 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 for their destruction. The arrow of the blood of Jesus Christ against them for their destruction. For their destruction. In Jesus Christ's unfailing name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you the glory. We partake of this cup by faith as the blood of Jesus Christ. And this bread as of your flesh. Therefore, tonight, every power waging war 
against our flesh. That incurable earth challenge is a war. But as we take this flesh tonight, wherever is the root, wherever is the root, let it dry up. Let it dry up. Let it dry up. And as we partake of your blood, whosoever attempt to do anything contrary, negative, on the opposite to the prayer we have prayed tonight, we decree by the power and the blood of Jesus, we decree their destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Lord. Holy Spirit, as you have always been doing, by this communion, let there be healings, let there be deliverance, let there be insight. Let there be revelation. Let there be total liberty. And let there be judgment upon every agent of wicked, every agent of wickedness assigned against us and their proxies. In Jesus Christ, unfailing name, I decree. Let the poor God shout a louder, amen. amen. Please take your seat oh, as choir ministers. the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It's worship's white as snow. She's every sickness. Oh. You may please take your seat in God's presence. Please, in case you came in after the service of recollection, 
kindly bring out your offering as we bless it. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for this seed in the hands of your people. Let it be accepted unto you as a sweet smelling savour. Where pleasing, mingle with the incense of saint in heaven, provoking divine intervention in their favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, as many as fulfill this obligation through the electronic media, I pray that tonight, let the miracle of Peter of minimum to maximum answer for them. In Jesus Christ, on feeling name we are praying. Shout hallelujah. You may please come forward and drop your offering. Don't forget, tomorrow we are here again. Shout hallelujah. You will not be weary. You will not fall, you will not falter. 2023 shall not be your cord drum. 2023 shall not be your cord drum. In the name of Jesus Christ, this year will not become your liability. In the name of Jesus Christ, doors of nations will open for you. The Lord will give you miracle of defined by us. The Lord will give you miracle of defined by us. The Lord will give you miracle of defined by us. Let me hear your loud amen. amen. All right, shall we pick our pen as we wait on the Lord tomorrow? As we are praying for the kingdom, you are going back to your means of livelihood, you will be praying. Say, O oh, heavens, arise and release catastrophe upon any power or person or office assigned to rubbish my life this year. Oh, heavens, arise and release catastrophe upon any power, person, or office, institution, or establishment assigned to rubbish my life this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 8. Verse B. 28. Ezekiel chapter 28, B. I will pour my fury upon them. O oh, heavens, arise and release catastrophe upon any power, person, institution, or establishment, or office assigned to rubbish my life this year. I will pour my fury upon them. Shout hallelujah. The Lord be with you. You may please be on your feet. I should repeat. Oh, I should come again. Oh, heavens, arise and release catastrophe upon any power any person, institution, or establishment, or office assigned to rubbish my life this year. Say, we pour his fury up to accomplish his anger. His anger. Shout hallelujah. It's a new day. It's a new day indeed. You will not fall, you will not falter. The Lord will make you happy. This year, overflow joy will become reality all around you. Overflow joy become reality all around you. Overflow joy become reality all around you. No running at and scatter. In the name of Jesus. This year we favor you. 2023 we favor you. 2023 we favor you. 2023 we favor you indeed. Favor you indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a spectacle. You will not be a watcher. On this covenant highway, you'll be a participant, part of the highway users in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands as you go, the Lord go with you. The Lord make room for you and be gracious unto you in the name of Jesus. The final chapter of our history shall not be written this year. The final chapter of our history shall not be written this year. We shall be part of them that will tell the story of this season. To the incoming generation. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Let me hear your loud amen. Is that the loudest you can shout? I can't hear your prophetic amen. Surely 
God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you have missed any of the prayer points, you can get back on any of our social media or audio mark, shout hallelujah, or get on my Facebook page, go over it, repeat it again and again and again and again. The way they were fearing witches in your village, they must begin to fear you. All the gang up in your place of work will crumble from tonight. Those who gather in the near future, suddenly, their words will not correlate. They have agreed in the beginning, now they begin to disagree. But I told you now, but I told you, are the one that says, say, me? But you propose, he said, no, it's not me. It's you. They begin to disagree. They begin to disagree. And you will keep rising. You will keep rising. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I am finally on the covenant highway of life. Congratulations. Who are you? I am God's property. Ensure with the blood of Jesus and protect by the Spirit of the Lord. Any power or person that touches you by error, meet you at the top.